Hi there, Dominic here with a couple of tips about the Move tool. I have a hierarchy in my scene. When I double click the Stop Locator, you see the whole hierarchy gets selected. When I, for instance, select the cube, press W for Move tool. Now you see I have some options like Child Compensate. With the default options, when I move this, you move the whole hierarchy. Control Z to undo. But when I check Child Compensate, now I'm only moving the cube item. Drop the tool by pressing spacebar, select the sphere, W to move, and again with child compensate you see I'm only moving this item. W, uh, press the spacebar to move, now select this one for instance again, W to move, and uncheck child compensate and I'm, I'm moving the whole hierarchy again. So the, the move tool with child compensate on only moves the item and leaves the children where they are. You have to be careful though, I'm going to create a new scene, Control n and go to my Modo Tools, create a cube and a sphere and with the sphere selected press W and with child compensate off, move it a bit down and parent it to the cube mesh. And now when I select the cube, press W and turn on child compensate, you would expect only the cube to move, but it actually moves the whole hierarchy. I think this might be a bug, Control z to undo. And what I found is you could parent it to another item and then unparent it again and then child compensate will work. So when I right click on mesh over here and for instance parent it to a group locator, now unparent it again. And delete my group locator. Now when I select the cube, W to move with child compensate, now you see it only moves the cube item. So be careful of that when you start parenting and your topmost parent moves the whole hierarchy with child compensate, then you might want to try parenting it and unparenting it again and then child compensate will work. I'm going back to my previous scene and going to revert to my default settings, yes. So A to fit everything. With the cube selected, press the W key. Now I'm going to turn off child compensate, and you also have an option pivot. When you check pivot, then you're only going to move the pivot. As you can see over here, you also get a new pivot position in your channels, and the move tool with option pivot can be very useful for animating the pivot. So for instance, if I wanted this box to be rotated around the edges like that, I could move the pivot with the move tool with pivot checked. Press the S key, so you see now in my channel list I have a key for my move channels. I'm going to also set a key for my rotation channels, S. I'm doing that with the S key and my N, uh, auto key is set to animated so now previous translations or transformations will be auto keyed. I'm going for instance to frame 20 and now rotate it like that. Press W and with move tool with pivot on now I can move the pivot to for instance there like that. Go to frame 40 Press the E key to rotate, and now I'm rotating that, like that. Press W key again, and for instance go over here with my pivots. And I'm going to frame 60, and rotate again, like that. Press the W key, and with the W key selected I can press F7 to go to my graph editor, and set my curve to stepped for my pivot positions, channels, so they are now stepped and now when I play the animation you see that the hierarchy is being animated along the pivot, just like that. Just wanted to show you that the move tool with set to pivot makes it easy to animate the pivot. You don't have to go to pivot mode, select the pivots, press the move tool. No, you can simply in item mode activate pivot and then you can animate along the pivot. 
So a few tips about the move tool, pivot and child compensate. This was Dominic, hope you found it useful, bye for now.